Hey, welcome back everyone, Toysh is here, and I'm back yet again with yet another Spawns Universe video, and today comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarland Toys, and we have an advanced early look at two of their upcoming figures, first and foremost being Medieval Spawn, one that has definitely been on a lot of people's radars, which looks really good in that fancy Spawn packaging, really nice artwork all over the box as usual, very Spawn-tastic, and you have a very cool looking medieval spawn on the back. Here is the barcode. Start to look for these around the end of April and into May. And then we have a mega sized big old figure in the form of Monolith, which is a new character, of course, and one that ever since I saw him in the comics, I was like, well, that would make for a great action figure. And yeah, here we are. So you have Hulk mixed with the Venom, basically, right? Here's the barcode for Monolith as well. So, this is going to be fun. Sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of Necroplasm. This is an early look at the brand new Spawns Universe, the giant-sized mega figure Monolith, and the medieval Spawn by McFarlane Toys. And while I got all you Jason wins here, I just want to say thanks so much for always checking out my Spawns Universe videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates. I guarantee you'll find something here that you like. A lot of old Spawn videos for those of you interested. But here's everything out of the packaging. And it's really not a lot, especially in the sense of monolith, but we'll get to that in just a second. So, to kick off with this big old mamma jamma here. First and foremost, very happy they made a figure of him. I think he looks great. I think the sculpt is there. I think the paint is a lot better than we have seen with prior Spawn's Universe offerings. Like, they painted his toenails. He's got a nice wash. He looks really good. He's very different in the sense of what came before for old Spawn figures. We know that by now. The 90s are long gone, but I like how they've sculpted in all those different Spawn details, like his costume. The skulls on his arms are very cool. They have a nice wash to them. They all connect via little wires that go all the way around, which are nicely painted as well. His articulation is pretty good for the most part, we'll just say. But I like the details of this guy. He even has these spiked blades on his hands, which are very sharp, right? So that's nice to see. The belt, very cool looking necroplasm looking belt right there. All the little capsules. He does not have real chains, which, yes, as I've said before, it'd be nice to get real chains going, especially for the price point. Keep in mind, this guy is $50. And I'm going to tell you right now, while I do like this figure, he doesn't really seem like a $50 figure, especially in the sense that he comes with nothing. And right here, I don't like the way his big old Tyrannosaur foot kind of melds into the wrappings around his legs. You know what I mean? It just kind of looks like a Mishigash, where it could have been designed a little bit better. That would be my one nitpick. Next to this right here, which pretty sure this is a band that should be painted. It kind of looks like his skin, but then this part right here is definitely a band. And you can actually see it on the other side too. So the biggest mishap with this figure, once again, I would say would be the paint, right? Like I really like the head sculpt going on. He's got some big gnarly teeth, the skulls, everything about the face portrait is awesome. I really like what they did here. It really brings to life this character. But if you had an extra head portrait with a big old yelling, snarling head, that would be cool and also add to the $50 price tag in the box along with maybe some hands, right? So you get the basic articulation. There's nothing crazy here, but I'm happy to say that nothing broke. Everything works. Didn't have to heat it up. If you saw my last Spawns Universe video with that entire wave, had a lot of problems. This definitely does seem to be returned to form, especially with Medieval Spawn as well. You'll get less articulation in the leg with all the pouches because it'll actually hit that diaper piece so it won't go up as much. But the knees are solid. He's a big, solid, chunky figure, which is nice. He's not nearly as heavy as Violator, though, I will tell you that. But nice articulation overall for this type of figure and for what McFarlane usually offers. However, I will tell you this. While you think he's like this big, massive figure, which he is, he's very light. He's a lot lighter than you would think. The arms are heavy, the head, the legs... Those are the heaviest parts. The chest cavity, incredibly hollow. So just take that into consideration 
as well. Now, moving into Medieval Spawn, which is, I think, the one that everybody is going to want to grab. We have two weapons, which is nice to see. Spawn emblazoned, of course. Spawn loves to customize everything, especially when he's bashing skulls. So, it's a nice weapon. It has a little bit of a wash to it. It's a little bit gummy rubbery, which, as most Spawn's universe figures all their weapons are. It's very sharp, too. Then you have his big old sword, which has a nice sculpt, nicely designed. It's a little bit warped when I pulled it out of the packaging. It has a little bit of some unique writing on there, so that's cool to see, but it's the lack of paint, really. And then you have Medieval Spawn, which I think overall, without nitpicking it too heavily, looks good. He looks good from afar, once you get up close, you go, okay, well, this could have used it. You know what I mean? And we're not going to do that. It's a $25 figure, and it's 2023. It's not the 90s anymore. You see the skulls that hold the cape? They could have painted those skulls, right? The paint is, again, where McFarlane is definitely lagging. The chains aside, they look fine. They're exactly what they are. They're plastic chains. At least they're gummy and they're not going to break off, right? But the ornate detail, the design aspect of this particular medieval spawn, like a new medieval spawn, is very cool. He does look good, but it's the lack of a wash every which way that have really would have emphasized everything that they got going on. Even down to his big boots with all the spikes and the skulls. They're very rubbery, but they're lacking that extra oomph in the paint, right, to really bring this to life. The helmet's great. The eyes are great. Everything looks good. But then as you kind of continue down the figure, it starts to lose that definition that a wash would really bring out. Like his silver gauntlets, sorely lacking. When you get down to the boots, on the artwork on the back, it's a mixture of silver and red in typical Spawn fashion. So I don't know why they didn't paint this boot red. I think they should have, definitely, to really match better with what they got going on. The detail is solid. Even underneath the cape, the skulls, the chains, everything looks great. But as I'll say over and over again, it's really just a lack of paint. The sculpt is there. It looks awesome. And he articulates fairly well for a guy that is covered in all this medieval armor, especially down to where you have the arms. The big shoulder pads really won't hinder you. He's got double jointed elbows. He'll spin at the wrist. He has a nice upper diaphragm crunch rotation so that you can really raise him up and down, not break up the costume. The legs, for the most part, work for you, especially if you want to put him on a horse, which I will show you later in the video. He's got double-jointed knees. Again, none of the armor gets in the way. It's rubbery enough to really help you when you want to move him around. He's got these big old clod hopper medieval feet with the toes, especially on this side. So really, again, with all the armor and everything else going on, he articulates very well. He looks great, but it's that dang paint that they are missing. When it comes to arming this guy, he holds all his weapons really well. Is he missing a shield? Yeah, that's kind of what I like to see with Medieval Spawn. Also, some weapon storage really would have been helpful. You could kind of slip it in between the cape, but there's no designated weapon storage. But like I said, you could put him on a horse... And he does look good. So the legs will work with you. You can add, subtract, have him holding weapons, give him a shield, whatever you want to do. But at least he can ride some horse that you may have in your collection. And he looks dang good at doing it. But I will tell you this. These new Spawns Universe figures are every bit toys. You call them action figures. They're not the collector art pieces that they once were in the 90s. However, for what they have, for the price point they're at, for new Spawn collectors... Not too shabby. If you want to go back and get this awesome medieval spawn, I definitely recommend him because, yeah, he is a stellar. When it comes to Monolith and his big old size, I think that's a nice size compared to spawn, especially with what you see in the comics. Maybe he could have been a little bit bigger, but I think that the size for what Monolith is will fit perfectly. And if you want to see this particular spawn mixed with the new medieval and Monolith, looks pretty good, especially when you want to build up the Scorched, right? You want to do all that kind of stuff with whatever Spawn has got going on now. It is comic book title across all the comic book titles, right? One thing, though, is with Omega Spawn, and we've already discussed this in my last video, Omega Spawn should have been a whole heck of a lot bigger. Huge, in fact, and he should have been taller than the monolith but yes he is not unfortunately they do look cool together in terms of monsters but what's actually kind of cool is that mcfarlane has built out 
the Scorched. And you can totally see with when they started this new toy line, that was their aim. You start a bunch of new comic books, you get to do all the characters in action figure form. And to be honest with you, they have their paint problems and whatnot here and there, but to have all these characters together, it's pretty darn cool. I gotta give it to them for doing that. Likewise with villains. The Violator kicked it off, the new type of Violator, right? So you have Clown and all the other characters, all the new ones that most Spawn people from back in the day are not going to really recognize. But it is also kind of fun to have all these new characters. So I'll definitely give it to them. It's a whole cavalcade of monstrosities. And yeah, that's what McFarlane really does best. So that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new Spawn's universe. We have the monolith and medieval spawn and thank you again to my friends over mcfarland toys for sending this out for the purposes of this video sin is also a part of this wave but i would say perhaps expect him later on if they didn't send it out maybe there's a hiccup something like that or maybe he's just lagging who knows maybe he wasn't available but just keep in mind he's part of this wave so hopefully when you start seeing these on store shelves you may also see Sin as well. And I'll do a video on him as soon as I get a hold of one. So you've heard my thoughts. Now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything Spawn's universe. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, when it comes to Spawn's universe, the more monsters, the better. But I really do think they need to start packing those boxes, especially the $50 figures. That's for sure. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.